What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a Sephora haul and I am so stinking excited. I just personally love watching other people's beauty hauls. It's like one of my favorite type of videos to watch. And I asked you on Instagram whether you wanted to see a get ready with me or a full just old school haul and the haul won by a landslide. So I'm excited. Plus I never, like back when there was the rouge sale, I never showed you guys what I ordered. And so I placed this order, which speaking of that, I placed this order literally the day before yesterday at night. It was like, <laughs> at night. It's like 9 or 10 o'clock at night and it literally got here within 48 hours. So if you're not already signed up for Beauty Insiders, there's the little tiers. It's Rouge and then VIB members and Insider. Literally amazing. Shout out to Sephora for having like the fastest shipping ever because now we're going to go through everything. I got two brushes and I'm not usually a brush like I'm not a brush fanatic I don't have a ton of brushes but I saw really good things about this brush and this is the rare beauty soft pinch blush brush and I just don't have one that's shaped like this like can you see how it's almost like it's a little bit short and dense but not too much and then it's not overly fluffy to where it would disperse your blush kind of like too far on your face you know so I thought this angle was just really cool and I genuinely love rare beauty so I'm gonna give this a try I just feel like it's a really perfect blush shape like look at that got this Patrick Ta for the face brush and this is so cool the concept of this is a double sided nose contour brush and honestly like I'm not somebody that really contours my nose but I think it's because I don't really know how and I want to learn that's why I got this and this one is like look at how thin right but the angle and so you do you dip this in the contour and then you can kind of like put it right here where you would normally contour your nose and then it has a buffing one on the other side absolutely genius I am so excited to try this and see if I can like do it I'm not really great at contouring but I feel like I'm I'm learning okay next up is an eye cream this is from the inky list and I have tried a couple of things from this brand before and I actually really like them and I love that it's super affordable so this one I think has caffeine in it yes so I just wanted to try in the morning because sometimes I have noticed ever since I started getting under eye filler like a couple years ago I've noticed that it just tends to like swell a lot easier than my eyes did before I don't know if it has anything to do with like water retention or I'm really not sure so I'm kind of curious to see if something like this would help with caffeine in it because usually I'll just put like cold spoons under my eyes or like the little roller thing so I don't know I'm so excited about this makeup by Mario pencil because the end, the other side of it, has a super small flat edged brush where like when you do liner, you can just kind of diffuse it out. So we're gonna give this, ooh, nice color payoff. Look at that color. <gasps> That's lovely. I have never tried a Makeup by Mario lip pencil before and I am so excited. Love that it comes with a little sharpener because I'm always losing them for my pencil lip liners. I have to do a look with this. I love that. Next we have, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna butcher these names of so people that are like really truly like beauty people always correct me when I say these brands wrong so I'm sorry Claude Claude <laughs> Vino Pure um, this is a green tinted spot solution so it has salicylic acid in it which I do have to be careful with because sometimes like I can if I use too much it can make me a little bit dry but this had really good reviews and I love that you can put this on under makeup so like if you have a red spot right you just use this and it helps with color correcting but then also has the salicylic acid in it if you have like an active breakout I'm really excited to try this it doesn't have like an overly fragrant smell to it and I'm super excited because I feel like sometimes with skincare if you're trying to treat something and then put makeup over it it can get like pilly and flaky you know next up is another product from one size I talked about this I think in my last favorites video maybe or get ready with me I can't remember I was using the blurring powder absolutely loved that and I just realized I don't have anything else from this brand so I wanted to give it a try the tinted nourishing brow gel I like that it says nourishing I want to I want to see what the difference is with this but I got it in the shade dark brown because you know I love me a good good dark eyebrow so I'm excited to see how this is then I got a foundation I'm very interested to see if I got the right shade but I see this foundation all over TikTok it is the NARS light reflecting foundation 
Ooh, I hope this is the right shade. Maybe, perhaps, let's see. Everybody that uses this foundation absolutely raves about it. So I'm gonna see, let's do just a little teeny pump on the back of my hand. Ooh, it's light, very liquidy. I feel like maybe it would be better for when I have just a little bit more of a tan, you know? I feel like, I can't fully tell here, but I'm gonna have to see like maybe on my neck or something. Yeah, we'll have to give that a test, like a true test. Um, hello. It blends really nicely though, I will say that, and it does have kind of like that soft, it's not like shimmery, which is great, but it's got a little bit of a glow. I'm interested to see how that looks on my skin because I do have pretty dry skin, so I think that would be nice. I love foundations that are like light and hydrating and not like thick cream or matte foundations. Next up is from First Aid Beauty. This is the Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration. And I know like even though it's summertime, you would think that I wouldn't need a super intense hydration, but like I was saying, my skin is dry. And I noticed that just like if I, if I don't put a ton of moisturizer on immediately after washing my face, it's dry, like it will ruin my makeup. So I'm just gonna try like to experiment with a thicker moisturizer during the day because I have noticed that kind of like around my nose or sometimes like just around my chin or eyebrows is just getting a little too dry for me during the day. So I'll let you know how this is. Love a good cruelty free. I am so excited to try this. This is from Pharmacy, Brighten Up Dark Spot Toner with Azelaic Acid. So if you are an esthetician or you know things about skincare, Azelaic, Azelaic Acid is supposed to be really helpful for dark spots. And for me, I just have a lot of sun damage. I've talked about this in previous videos because I did not wear sunscreen as a young adult. Just tanned my life away in tanning beds for years and years and years. So I am now approaching my 30s and just trying to combat some of that sun, da sun damage. And a lot of things I've been relying on have been like vitamin C creams and niacinamide and things like that. But azelaic acid and PHA is something I have never tried before. So I am really excited to give this a try and add this into my morning routine. I think I will just use this in the morning. It says AM and PM, but I have like a lot of other toners that I use at night. So we'll see. Ooh, I'm so pumped for this blush summer Fridays. Okay, next summer Fridays blush balm stick. So excited about this. I love summer Friday. Look at this color. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Tell me that it's just not the perfect pinky. I do not have a blush color like this love this color this i saw this and i was just like this just screams summer so i want to do a look with this and then that like mauve lip pencil from makeup by mario i think that would be so cute oh this was a sample this is from my my points i think actually this is just a perfume i've never tried this from clean reserve the scent is rain look how cute this is something about little bottles i absolutely love it's a roller okay Ooh. oh that smells fancy oh my gosh that's nice if you're someone that likes very clean and crisp smelling things. Usually I'm more of a musky girl, but that smells really nice. Oh my God, love that. On back to the actual products, let's keep it moving here. Oh, this is something that I also saw on TikTok, of course. This is from Fenty Beauty. This is the Bright Fix Under Eye Brightener Concealer, I believe, or Eye Brightener Illuminator. Maybe it's not a concealer. I got it in the shuller, the color, the shuller? The color creep, creepy. No, it's a creep. Um, this is shade four. And, oh, look at this applicator. That's interesting. So basically, you just put this underneath your eyes, and it's it kind of acts like a, oh, it's got a little pink undertone to it. Can you see that? But it does seem like it has some coverage. Huh. I'm going to have to see how this goes underneath concealer. I love that I'm just, like, putting things on top of products right now. That's probably not the best idea, but you know what? Let's just see. Side and you'll have to tell me in the video if it looks like it's bright, brighter on my right side. <laughs> Does it look good? <laughs> like a full face with this. Obviously I can't tell by putting it on top of products because it's supposed to go underneath, but I'm excited to use it. Then we have, oh, an actual concealer. Okay, this has been going viral on TikTok. This is a Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. This is new. I got this in the shade N5 and I, oh, I love this applicator. Look at this applicator. How fun. So excited to try this. I heard that this is like the best concealer. It's like so creamy and hydrating, but it's got such good coverage, not creasy. I hope this is the right color. It looks a little dark, but we're gonna see. That, I'm telling you, that perfume, 
is amazing. Next up is this little scrub. I got the smaller size because I wanted to see if I liked it. This is the Ole Henriksen Transform Lemonade Soothing Scrub. I do love Ole Henriksen. I have the brightening under eye cream, which I absolutely love, but I feel like I need to alternate my exfoliants because I think my skin gets used to the same one if I use it over and over, you know? I'm gonna just kind of add this into the rotation and it's an AHA and lemon peel extract exfoliant. So, if you're not using an AHA or BHA in your routine, you absolutely need to add that in. Next up, oh my gosh, another TikTok find. Would you believe it? Okay, this. We're going to try this on my lips right now. This is the YSL Rouge. What is up with me in these Rouge Volupt <laughs> Candy Glaze Double Care Balm? So basically, this is like a lipstick that acts like a balm almost, and I got this in that lightest shade, number two. Beautiful packaging, but look at this. Oh, it feels amazing. Oh my gosh, look at that. The juice. I love that. How cool, like what an interesting concept. Kind of lipstick, but not like gloss and doesn't feel sticky. Oh my gosh, love. This is a brand that I've never tried before, so I'm so excited. This is LYS Beauty, and I love the shape of this. Uh, this is the Matte Bronzer in shade tan okay courage tan of this packaging i'm really a sucker for some good packaging but ooh, look at that that's a beautiful color it's like not too taupe but not too orange that cannot wait to do a full face with this so then i got this little kit this is from pat mcgrath and this is a kit that has a little mini eyeshadow and i'm so excited because i've never tried pat mcgrath eyeshadow before look at these colors like are you kidding me Ooh, they're so like buttery feeling. You know how sometimes if you get a shadow and it's kind of like, I don't want to say crunchy, but like you have a hard time getting the, the consistency on the brush right and then it kind of looks a little patchy. I can tell that's not going to be like that. Very excited. And then it also comes with a liner and a mascara. I actually haven't ever tried Pat McGrath liner or mascara before. And I prefer mascaras that have this type of brush. I don't like the little fibery ones. I feel like that doesn't work well for my lashes. So we'll see how this is. Then I got, oh, I think this is the eye cream. Yes. Okay. So this is from Glow Recipe. This is the Guava Vitamin C, but it's an eye cream. Oh, and niacinamide gel so i was talking about how i had that other banana bright cream it's a little bit thicker this one is a gel and i think that will be nicer for underneath the eyes especially when you're going to put makeup on and last couple things i did get something else from ole henrix and i didn't realize i did this is the strength trainer peptide boost moisturizer again I have been on a TikTok rabbit hole of skincare lately, and I've been wanting to add more peptides and ceramides to my routine. So this one is vegan peptides, ceramides, and collagen. And I just got the small one again because I wanted to see. I did actually test this out last night, and I like the consistency. It's almost kind of like a mix between a gel and a cream. I'm really excited about that because I just, I, I just love trying new things. This is another thing I wanna put on my lips. I'm gonna wipe that little balm off. This is the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oil. I'm really just more of an oil or like moisturizing on the lips kind of girl. I don't love the matte look on me. I used to be all about that, but not anymore. Okay, and I got this in the shade Hope. Ooh, ooh, hydrating. You would think like with this type of applicator that it would be a matte but it's not it has a nice subtle color to it oh that's really pretty absolutely love that and then i got this is actually from my points as well this is the orbe gold lush dry shampoo this is actually one of my favorite dry shampoos i just already have a full one so i wanted to keep this one for like if i'm out somewhere like at the gym but i just love how this one also gives your hair such nice volume like it doesn't Oh, it smells so good too. Like out of the dry shampoos, it doesn't give that very heavy, weighed down, powdery kind of feel to it. It's definitely feels to me more like a volumizer. Last but not least, another Caudel. I'm I know I'm saying this wrong product, but this is a uh, grape water soothes and moisturizes for sensitive skin. The reason I got this is because recently I have learned. <laughs> 
that when you're applying your skincare, whether it's at night or the daytime, you want your skin to actually be a little bit damp when you're applying your toners and serums, and you don't want to let your skin dry in between the layers. I've been starting my skincare like when I get out of the shower and not like wiping off my face or drying it completely, but I wanted to have something for the morning, so I got this to basically just like spray as a refreshing mist and then you start doing like your skincare like your toners and your serums and all that stuff so i've just been you know trying to up my skincare game lately and i'm so pumped about it i feel like i'm learning so much so that is it that is everything from the sephora haul i hope that you guys enjoyed and it was a long one sorry <laughs> so let me know if there's anything that you've been loving from sephora recently or anything that you want me to try leave it in the comments below and every single thing that i listed in today's video will be in the description box as well with links and if you haven't already sign up for the beauty insider program i put that link in there as well and of course as always don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and click that subscribe you know i greatly appreciate it so thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much and i will see you in next week's video